Checkity check check checkity check check. Hi everybody, it's me, Natty Bumper Car, and well, it, I guess it's a new season. Well, I guess it's a new year. New me? I don't know. I think it should be an entirely new podcast, given the fact. Hi everyone, this is me, Rufus T. Rufus. Given the fact, uh, Natty, that you've been disappeared for quite some time, do you have any kind of explanations for the audience? You can't just leave them hanging like that. Hey, you're not. Hey, everyone, it's me, producer. And Natty, you don't have to actually say anything. You're just, you are a very busy man. I know everyone knows you do a lot of things, and sometimes you get bogged down, which is funny coming from a frog. Bog, go get it. Frog on a log in a bog. <laughs> it's funny to me. It's a frog joke, anyway. You don't have to tell Rufus anything, okay? Hey, I, I, hey everyone, it's me, Aloysius JPEG. Uh, hot, coming in here, uh, hot. I'm coming in here hot, and, and, and I am bothered by this whole situation because here's the thing. I think you do need to give an explanation to everybody, uh, Bumper Car, because the last time you put out an episode was, uh, I don't know. I don't even, honestly, I don't even know. My calendar doesn't go far that far back, okay? So, I would I appreciate what I think everybody would appreciate is you maybe just a little bit of transparency. That's, you know, kind of one of those words these days. Oh, yay, get a little bit of transparency <laughs> and let us know what's going on yeah. with you. Uh, uh-huh. Fine, yeah. Well, full transparency, uh, I just went through 15 minutes with my computer with a giant spinning uh, rainbow ball that was saying to me, hey, we just, everything just got lost, but it evidently it didn't. So we're back, and that makes me happy. That's my transparency for you for right now. Now, Natty, uh, as your lawyer, I'm going to come out and tell you that that's not the kind of transparency that we are talking about. That's more like a translucency. That's more like a uh, or opaqueness or something like that. What the people are looking for, they're looking for a, a clear window in which they can look through and see exactly what y'all talking about. <laughs> are you okay? And I uh, don't feel like that's quite enough for it, you understand? Yeah, okay, cool. I, what is that? What is happening right now? Is that a... Did we get a... Is that a... Did we get a... Is that a telephone? Oh, I've always wanted on. to be a call-in show. Somebody answer quick. I got it, I got it. Uh, hi. Hello, this, uh, I don't bump, I don't. Ha, hello. Thanks, thanks, Who, hi, who's this? Hey, it's Turkey. Hey, Turkey. Huh? <laughs> Good point. Okay, thanks, Turkey. Uh, wow, that was great. But Fig, I think maybe you hung up on him a little bit too fast. Like he was still talking or clucking or... Go- gobbling? I don't know. What is... T- does, in- I- does anyone know turkey talk? What is... It? They gobble, yeah, so gobbling. I, he was still gobbling. To be, to be fair, I was uh, caught unawares. I was caught off guard. I I didn't know that I was going to be on phone duty. I kind of feel like maybe that's producer's kind of kind of jam. Uh, and I... I I did. I kind of I kind of freaked out a little bit, and I just hung up. I I didn't I didn't I uh. Ah, another one. Uh, producer, get this one. Get this one, producer. Okay. Uh, hello. This is pro. This is producer. Welcome to the Nasty Bumper Car Bumper Podcast. So today. Who is who's calling? Well, I'm oh. quite sure that oh. you understand oh. who's calling. I know. Don't you have any kind nope. of caller ID or anything nope. there? We, hi, Santa Claus. We don't have any kind of caller ID, but because this is our first time having a telephone on the show, but I recognize your voice, and it's super cool that you're calling in, and I'm so happy to hear from you, and well, I... Well, I don't think you'll think so in a second. Oh. Yes. You see, Natty, you didn't record your podcast for the last bit of the year, and that has upset a lot of people. For instance, I believe Turkey called earlier. You never had him on the show last year. I am calling you again because you did not have me on the show. This is a traditional thing that we do every single year where Thanksgiving comes around, Turkey comes on the show, December comes around, and then I'm on the show as well. Do you have anything to say, Natty? Well, now, as uh, 
That is Zip it. Uh, Rufus. Oh, yeah, I'm not asking you to, to, to stand in front of Mr. Bumpercar. I'm just asking uh, for a little bit of transparency, as it were. Fine. Okay, here's what happened last year. This is late November and December. In late November, I was out in the bumper barn, and uh, I was trying to get some Christmas decorations down off of the loft. The loft is about... Uh, 10 feet up in the air and I was getting a, a giant storage crate full of decorations down and I was using the ladder kind of to guide the, the big box down and then the ladder shifted and then the box fell and it it whacked me in the head. This is all true. I was there. I witnessed the whole thing. It was it was quite the, the wallop that he took. I understand. Keep talking, please. Yeah, absolutely. So, um... It hit me, and I kind of I went down on, the, on one knee, and I don't think I passed out, but uh, people were asking that. But uh, Oliver was out here with me, and he was like, are you okay? And I was like, ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I was like, is there any, any blood? And uh, he looked, and he's like, no blood. And I was like, ah, all right. And then I proceeded to get down four more giant boxes because I'm silly that way. Now... I put my hand on the back of my head, and when I pulled it back, blood. There was a lot of blood. Sorry, don't want to freak you out, but it was true. This, this actually happened. And uh, Oliver said, I think we should go find Mommy. And I was just like, yeah, 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 yeah. That's a good idea. Good, good call, sweet child. And so uh, I stumbled back into the house. Dear, I think I have a concussion. Uh, what should I, what should I do? And it was hilarious because I said, can you look at my eyes? I need just to see if my eyes are dilated. I don't understand what exactly dial, dial, dilated. What is, what are you talking? What does that mean? I don't, I'm not a medical professional. I'm just a frog yeah. who is good at producing a podcast. You're very good at it. Uh, yeah. So to dilate it, it just basically means so there's in the center of your eye, there's something called a pupil. It's like the little little circle black part um and that's actually how the light gets into your eyes and it's a whole thing but sometimes if they're really big or really small then you can kind of see that there's stuff going on with them and <laughs> she said uh and so I, and when you have a concussion that's one of the things that they check they're like let's look at your eyes and see if your pupils are dilated and so she looked at my eyes and she said I I don't know. I think that one is bigger than that one. Talking about my eyes, and uh, I was, and she's like, "But I don't know if that's just because of where you are in relation to the the light in the room." And I was like, "I don't think that's how it works." Um, but you know, and then I said, "I'm gonna I'm gonna go take a shower." So I, I did that. I went and I took a shower, and uh, definitely was feeling pretty pretty off. Now, Natty, uh, but feeling pretty off. Is this something that is it? Can we sue this box? I mean, I, I don't want to be litigious this early in the new year, but I, I am the lawyer, so I just think I could probably look into it. And uh, does, uh, does the box have any kind of assets that we can go <laughs> after? No? Settle down, Rufus. Yeah. All right, keep telling the story, Bumper Car. Okay, so uh, my whole life I've been told if you have a concussion, don't go to sleep. But then I went on the internet and it said, hey, you can go to sleep. And I was like, okay. And I fully am aware and know that I could have gotten any answer that I wanted. And I was very tired. It was like at 930 at night and I went to sleep. And I slept all day the next day. It was a Saturday. And uh, I, I, I really, I, I felt like I couldn't move. I was just on the couch. And um, Saturday night, a friend of mine Dave from Cedar Beans Coffee Joint, where I host the Thursday open mic, uh, the caffeinated open mic. Uh, it was their four year anniversary. And I, I was I, I, I got up and I was like, I am going to go to this thing. And my wife was like, I don't want you to go to that thing. And I was like, I have to go to this thing. And she's like, again, I would rather you not go to the thing. Uh, and so I went to the thing and I took uh, Oliver with me. And I got there, and within, like, a minute and a half, all the noise and the people and the lights, I was just like, this was a mistake. I've made a terrible mistake. And I found a, a mom, like a friend of Oliver's mom, and I said, can I give him to you? And they are like, yeah, what are you doing? And I was like, I'm going to go to the emergency room. And so I did that, and uh, they... 
ran me through all kinds of tests and they were like, yeah, you, you have got a concussion. And I was like, I, I, yeah, I know, I know. And that's really all they did. They were like, all right, you just have to take it easy for, might take a couple of weeks and good luck to you. And I was like, oh, all right. And so, so that was the, that was in November. That was the week before Thanksgiving. And then Thanksgiving happened and we had uh, all kinds of people at our house and I overextended myself. And so I, I made it worse because that's what I tend to do. So Santa, if you could tell Turkey that yes. that's why he wasn't on the podcast so in all, November. All, all of a sudden, Santa, I'm being your messenger. That's fine. Well, I'm terribly sorry about your head and I hope that you're doing things to reconcile the situation and that you're going to take better care of yourself in the future. I absolutely will. I promise steps have been taken. I got smaller containers so I don't have these monstrous containers to get down. And um, yes, I'm definitely going to try. Uh, it's funny. Every single doctor that I ever talk to, they're like, are you taking care of yourself? And I'm like, not so much. Not so much. It's not really what I do. I don't take care of myself a, a lot. And they were like, you should probably start. And I'm like, okay. Like, I do it begrudgingly. I don't know if you if you do that when you go to the doctor, but I'm like, fine. I'll take care of myself. Well, blah, blah. I, you know? I, yes, I, and Natty, I do appreciate that very, very, very much. I do, I tend to overextend myself as well, especially at, towards the end of the year where there's just a lot going on and I have to go around all the places and there's elves and they're building things and the reindeer, or you have to take care of them. And so I, I understand. Uh, what about, ha what happened in December? Because I also was not on the podcast. Uh, actually, um, i so sorry to interrupt Natty and, and, and Mr. Claus, I, uh, this is brother, sir. We only have 30 seconds to go on the show, so maybe can you, can you, I hate to ask this, can you, I know you're a busy man, oh, but you, can you maybe call him back next week? Oh. And, yeah, I'm figuring it out. Are you seriously asking Santa I'm Claus so, to call back on the show? I'm terribly sorry, Santa, but we, I don't know what to do. I, um. And scene. Did you just hang up on Santa Claus? The show's got to end. show's got to end. Duh, do not answer that. No one answer the phone. Just run. The Bumper Podcast is an oftentimes hilarious weekly romp with Natty Bumper Car and some of his pals. It is family-friendly, clean, and ridiculous. Thanks a bundle for listening. If you love our show and you'd like to help support the podcast, check out our Patreon page at https colon forward slash forward slash www.patreon.com forward slash Natty Bumper Car. Also, pretty please subscribe wherever you get your podcasts, share it with everyone everywhere, post about it on all of the social medias, or leave a rating and review. The Bumper Podcast is produced at headquarters in Coffee Can Alley. It's recorded, mixed, and produced by producer. The Bumper Podcast features contributions from Aloysius J. Pig, Rufus T. Rufus, Doodle Poodle, Robot, Trunks, and a gaggle of other silly rascals. Our head talker is probably Natty Bumper Car. We also have an absurd newsletter. Check it out and subscribe at nattybumpercar.com slash subscribe. Also, you can follow me on Instagram and Twitter at Natty Bumper Car. Hugs and hearts. See you soon. This has been a non-productive media presentation. Executive producer, Frank Hablawi. This program and many others like it on the Non-Productive Network is distributed under a Creative Commons Attribution Non-Commercial No Derivatives License. Please share it, but ask before trying to change it or sell it. For more information, visit non-productive.com.